All right, what's up, guys? Um, it's AJ, and uh, you're watching Ginger Rolls Are Dead. Um, first, let me say, you know, I apologize for not posting a video on Saturday. Uh, just a <laughs> hell of a week. All right, we'll just leave it at that. All right, but um, really nothing but good things. So nothing bad. You don't have to worry about anything. But um. This, uh, I guess this this video is going to be a little longer because I'm going to put my, the previous week's topic into one uh, with this week's topic because uh, my last video that I posted for views on religion was um, muted by, I guess, whatever the administration uh YouTube or whatever um, so it became uh, muted or whatever because I had music playing so I will no longer be playing music in the background I'll be making sure that all music is off so um, I guess my videos can be continue can continue to be viewed um, but anyway um, I'm gonna try to keep it short and simple short and sweet I guess you could say um, just to avoid go like boring you to tears with somebody's you know rant and opinion or whatever. But first, I wanted to talk about uh, religion and um, my views on its role in the LGBTQIA plus community. And I um, I feel like I do there's there's nothing there's nothing wrong with it being a part of your life as an individual um so saying that there is no place for religion in the lgbt um you know plus community um would be i mean remiss by me i, I wouldn't be able to say that and it'd be a legitimate opinion um i will say this uh i was brought up uh baptist so um everybody everyone in my family uh, Baptist you know and that's just that's just the way I grew up <clears throat> I went to church every Sunday and if I had more devout Christians in my family than I do um, I probably would have been there for uh, you know Bible study choir rehearsal um, all that stuff you know uh, but I was a part of the usher board and I was a part of the choir at one point in time I was um, I attended Sunday school before service every Monday so I mean every Sunday so um, that was just a part of my life I did it because I had to not because I wanted to um, just being honest uh, and I finally uh, let my parents know well actually my mother I let my mother know that um, there was no point in me going to church anymore because I was listening to nothing that was being taught um, I started to develop my own opinion about things and yes I believe in God but religion is not my thing so I I'm actually non-religious now but I am spiritual so um, if you hear rustling in the background that's that's my dog Max acting crazy he just came back from the, the groomer um, so anyway so that's that's really my stance on religion in the I mean it, it has its place but as an in, in individual entities as we are individuals that's the only way it fits in because you try to um, say that an entire community is as lacking um, God or whatever and that's why they're this way that's that would be incorrect because that's one belief as opposed to many beliefs that are in the world and I don't say one is um, one trumps the other that's that's not how I feel about it now um, for those of you that are struggling excuse me with your religion and and your sexuality or who you are attracted to physically sexually um, emotionally um, just know that um, Whatever you believe in, I'm sure, I'm sure that it is 
a must, a necessity, um, something very important, an important aspect of you living your life is you being yourself. So I don't, I would hate for you to um, deter or um, deviate from being who you truly are and loving who you love and, and all of that uh, because of a religion. A religion was set up to guide you so that you could get to where you hope to go. No. And then uh, go over there. Um, so that's that's just really my stance on religion. Now, um, this week's topic was actually supposed to be discrimination, discrimination laws that are um, have come about um, in the last uh, few months, I guess. Um, I can't say that. I mean, this is really when I, um, what do you call it, uh, became aware that there are actually discrimination laws um, being proposed, at least in Georgia, for sure. Um, they're getting a bill passed to allow discrimination in the state of Georgia. Indiana has already passed it. It's a law there. From what I am, you know, from what I know, um, this to, to make it, you know, to briefly explain it. Um, here's an example. Well, not an example, but this, the law is really, um, to allow discrimination based on an individual's religious beliefs. Okay, so, um, for instance, I don't want black people in my restaurant. That is not illegal as long as I say, because of this law now, because of the law being proposed and, and, and presented, the bill being presented. Because if I say that uh, I don't want this to happen and it's because of my religious beliefs, it will not be considered illegal. It will not be considered racist. Um, none of that. And there will be no reprimand, no repercussions for my actions or for keeping anybody out of my establishment. I can refuse, refuse service to anybody I pretty much want to. Um, it's reached a new level of inequality and um it's uh it's almost saying if i don't want if i'm a christian i don't want a muslim you know in my barbershop or anything like that it, it's it's making it okay to discriminate that's that's the main point is what you need to get i have a problem with this because there should be no law out there period allowing for others to separate themselves from each other if that makes any sense there should really be excuse me no law that will allow someone to not tend to or provide a service for or treat fairly someone that is different than them and not only is it ridiculous that they're making it so it's based off of your religious beliefs but there are going to be people out there that really don't have any be religious beliefs or they are agnostic or atheist or anything like that but they're going to claim that it's against their religious beliefs even if they are not religious, just to discriminate. It's also um, something out there. Um, I've only heard speculation of it. Uh, the people in California would be able to uh, elaborate on this better than I can, but I can promise you that I've heard something about it, whether it be rumor or not. But it is um, a bill being proposed that it is all right to murder gays, lesbians, people of the LGBT community. I've heard that. Now that is ridiculous. You should never be able to um, take someone's life unless it is in self-defense. Now, um, 
death penalty, lethal injection, all that stuff. All that I I have uh, I I have no opinion on uh, um, because it's just it's one of those things I just don't talk about. But in regards to whether or not you see someone you assume to be gay, lesbian, trans, bisexual, or not even assume you actually know they are, it's okay to kill them, to take their life. There's something seriously wrong with this country that they would allow a bill like this to be proposed. Not only that, apparently there are only certain requirements to propose a bill. So you can write up something, and I'm not sure what those requirements are, but you can write up something as your proposed bill. As long as it meets those requirements, it can be sent sent up the chain, all the branches and whatnot. It'll be sent up and actually discussed, and somebody will determine an answer on it. People need to see the damage they are doing because of their ignorance. Sometimes ignorance is a good thing. In some cases, I will say that that may be true. But knowing what is going on in your world, in your communities, with your people, stretches miles and it speaks of volumes because now you are aware of the struggle the fight and any other plight that a person an individual a group of people a society a nation of any sort is going through all i can say is open your eyes to what's going on around you what could possibly happen to you and what could happen to the people that you love that's all i got for today guys i hope um i shed some light in some areas um i also appreciate you guys watching um i know i don't have as many viewers as the other members on this channel but i do appreciate you guys um watching the, those of you that do and in those of you who have yet to to take a look um, but don't forget to like um, comment share anything you can ask me questions I'll find out more about what um, I spoke about today uh, just to make sure I got my facts straight but um, I had to go ahead and let that out uh, I like once again I appreciate you guys watching and um, you guys stay awesome stay blessed all right peace